Hi, for this recording, I will show you how to compute the upper Riemann sum over our function over a standard partition. Given a function fx is 1 when x equals 0, x plus 2 for x between 0 and 1, and 0 for x equal to 1. So let's look at what is it all about by looking at the PowerPoint slide. So first of all, given a partition on an interval, you can find the length of the interval delta xi for each partition of each interval of the partition. And then we can also find the supremum capital MI of the function on the interval. Now, then multiply the supremum MI and delta xi, sum over it, then we can get the upper Riemann sum. So let's look at the solution now. Our function look like a straight line most of the time, except when x equals 0 and x equal to 1. Now in this case, over the, if you look at an interval, any interval, say I pick an interval, any interval from here, then you can see that the supplement of function is on the right end point of y. Alright, so therefore, if you look at mi, the supremum, given a partition, standard partition from 0 to 1 over n, 1 over n to 2 over n, and so on, the i interval we know is from i minus 1 over n to i over n. Then, as our function is y equal to 2 plus x, and the supremum is on the right end point, so f of x, which x is equal to i over n now is 2 plus i over n. Alright, this will give me the supplement of the function. For, this is from i equal to 2 to n minus 1, except for the first interval and last interval. Now on the first interval and last interval, let's look at the graph again. Then we will find that on the graph, the Supplement on the first interval, you find that the highest point on the first interval is here, m1 equal to 2, highest point. And the last interval, the supplement is 3, highest point. Therefore, we have the information m1 is equal to 2 and mn equal to 3. So, put them together upper Riemann sum of f over standard partition in summation of mi delta xi. Now I split them into three terms first for computation. So I split into three terms into three sum as mi has three types. So I purposely split them into three types. So m1 delta x1 plus ni delta xi for i from 2 to m minus 1 and mn delta xn. Okay, and then m1 is 2, so 2 times 1 over n, and then ni from 2 to m minus 1 is 2 plus i over n which is here, delta xi is 1 over n, and mn is 3. So there are three sum here. Now notice that I can actually combine the second one and last term. For example, I combine the second term and last term. So I want to combine second term and last term. It happened that I can combine them because when i equal to n, 2 plus n over n is 3. So I can actually combine them as a single sum. So these two combine as one single sum i from 2 to n now. So now the next thing is to find the sum. So in this case, I need to split them out 2 over n plus 2 over 
and i from 2 to n minus i from 2 to n okay so this one is coming from first term to 1 over n all right and next one is i over n i over n and n here common so 1 over n square summing up to i now how do i sum up i 1 from i to 2 to n in this case this is equal to all right equal to summing up 1 n minus 1 time so this is n minus 1 so therefore the sum of summing up from the sum we are looking for in this case is equal here 2 times n minus 1 over n as together with 2 over n earlier and summing up 1 is n minus 1 and then how about sum of i from i equal to 2 to n so in this case you, you this is a sum of uh, arithmetic progression AP so what you do is you, you sum take the first term which is 2 last term which is n divided by 2 then multiply the number of terms the number of terms is n minus 1 and so this sum is n minus 1 2 plus n over 2 and there's an n square in front there's the n square there this is how we get the sum of the second term all right the sum of the second uh, in this case is yeah here so put them all together then we have the upper remaining sum is 2 over 2 over n but 2 over n minus 1 times n is 2 and then so we just add these two together is 2 this is 2 here and n minus 1 n minus 2, 2 n square pull up a common denominator and then you'll find that the sum is 5 n square plus n minus 2 over 2 n square this is the upper Riemann sum u f p n that's the end of this recording alright now let's look at part 3 part c now given the lower Riemann sum 5n square minus 9n plus 2 over 2n square. We're going to deduce that the function is integrable on 0 to 1, and then we're going to evaluate the integral. So in this case, let's look at the solution. In uh, our earlier part, we know that upper Riemann sum we have is 2n square plus 2n minus 2 over n square, which approach to 5 over 2 as n goes to infinity. And given that LFN, LFPN goes to 5 over 2 as n goes to infinity as well, therefore the upper, the limit of LFPN and limit of UFPN are equal, both equal to 2.5, so the function is integrable and integral is 2.5. The end of recording.